about Texas. I'm an artist that been doing mixtapes. I done talked about the candy paint girls just like them. If they would have done that, I probably would have done that. Right. But I seen the game. I seen everybody doing it. I'm like, dang, I can't do that. I got to come with something different. All right. This might this might throw a lot of people off, but I'm going to do this. They'll understand the motive behind the matters later. You know what I'm saying? So coming out of Texas at that point, they was like, man, this is the hottest thing that everybody talking about. How could you go a whole different direction? Yeah. I'm like, no, nah, just don't worry about it. You'll understand later. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then that, that's when it worked. And even now, when I come up with something like hip hop police, some people will be like, man, what is he, he rapping as a police? You know what I'm saying? Then Listen, they man, better, you know they got saying? you a motherfucking grand together. Fuck them. Stay the course. Stay the course. We're going to cuss like that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but goddamn, we got you a grand, kid. That's you know? Right, man. A lot of people work their whole careers to get one of those, man. Yeah. So when I got right. one, it was like, mm-hmm. and it, it meant that much more because I wasn't trying to get one. Like, Right. I never went and tried to... Nigga, knock it off. Everybody want a Grammy. I want me a goddamn Grammy. Radio Grammy. So you go back to your Grammy, you look up at the Grammy like, dang, bro, it's a Grammy right there, man. I hear that, but with the Grammy, it doesn't mean that things are easier. Oh, it nah, seems like nah, there's nah. more pressure. The, the one thing it does do is, like, it's crazy how fickle people are, man. Like, you know, people that see you, they, they treat you a whole different way because they know you got a Grammy. It's like, people that didn't care about you before, like, you walk in a red carpet, they tapping you like, hey, come here, what's up? I'm like, what? Like, I know you don't, like, right. before you didn't, I'm you know. the same person that, like, dissed me, you know? Man, like, like, and there's people behind the scenes, like, people that are power. Like, I was sitting somewhere, like, somebody powerful at Walt Disney or something. Drop the name, what's the name? I know. God damn it, he got you a check, yeah, kid. You know his name. Yo, when do business, once you become a Grammy Award winner, it's like, you, 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 you're bigger now, you know what I'm saying? The right. people that, they look at you differently, you know what I'm saying? That's just crazy that society is, you know, based on success on stuff like that, a trophy, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy to me, man. You're still the same OG, you know? Nowadays, you're like, oh, okay, I'm so humble. Like, this is the same guy I've been, man. How come uh, you just now paying attention? You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. I'm going to tell you a story. And, and, and Before just, you tell no, that story, hold on, let me tell us. Story. We started getting into the whole not cursing yeah. thingy, you know, people making a big deal out of it. And me personally, I don't see what the big deal is either. Yeah. But I commend you as an artist who decided to put themselves out there. You know, I think we need more artists in hip hop. Like that, we need balance in the game. But balance, that's good. Well, yeah, we need balance. Yeah. We don't have balance, but you know, Reverend Now going after hip hop hard. Mm. Yeah. You know, how do you feel about Reverend Now and trying to censor certain words? I mean, you as an artist decided to do that, but other artists out there, you know, they they're not trying to. Hear. And um, Reverend Al is the hip hop police. That's what hip hop police are. People, I feel like that's going at people. Mm, be careful like, now. Go ahead, go ahead, Now. He is, he is. Nah, he is. Like, I don't see that in a disrespectful way. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I talk about the hip-hop police, the people that are feel like they're policing hip-hop. And he has a views and opinion on how he think police should be. I mean, uh, uh, hip-hop should be. And my thing is, like, I see all this stuff. Like, people are really scared to talk about this type of stuff. There was supposed to be some, like, thing they was doing for BET, like, the town hall thing. And I was yeah. just going, like, uh, Larry King. And, like, everybody's always like, no, nah, don't do it. They're scared. I, I can understand why, because they feel like other people might have stepped out there and not represented right and said something to make it. You know, with me, man, I feel like everybody's arguing over nonsense, man. Like, people always want to grab at the leaves on the tree and never go to the seed. Okay. The tree gonna keep growing, well, man. Like, to make it, to cover this up and bury the N word, uh, that shows me that y'all ain't really even trying to get to the source of the problem. Mm-hmm. And there's little kids in the hood that still gonna be saying it ain't going nowhere. But what so is they, the source? Man, it's, it's just a moral issue, man. We need to change people's morals. Morale is messed up in society today. Y'all look at TV. I see, like, gay people kissing each other on TV, all kind of crazy stuff. Nobody says nothing about it. There's movies and people holding right. guns on the side of buses. Nobody says nothing about this. The average kid, if you go to a, um, a, a, a kindergarten and just see kindergartners right. and see how they treat each other and see what they... How, man, it's crazy nowadays, man. And my, okay. my thing is this, you know, and, and, and I think that we kind of let the Pandora's box, we open it up or whatever, because understand, in every black household... We use that N word behind the scenes. Yeah. And this was this was even in the you know like when I was coming up, we would use it behind the scenes. I think that I think that hip hop, I think that hip hop, in this rawness kind of just took our took our dirty little secret that we used to say at home and put it out there. Like we made it okay. You know. But let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. The problem is, man, it's a big generation gap, and it's always gonna be one. You know what I'm saying? Like. There are people that was there during the time of those riots and all that type of stuff when you couldn't, you know, drink out a certain fountain and you had to go to a certain spot on the bus and all that type of stuff. They understand the power of that word. You know, these young kids ain't going to understand it. It's not the same. Like, if I was there during Katrina, everything that happened during Katrina, and I was there and I felt it. 
Right. I'm going to feel it a lot more than telling you about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So they're not going to understand, and they're trying to change these people. Like a rapper that's been smoking and drinking his whole life trying to tell him how to raise their kid. He just already lost. He ain't going to understand because he, he – how, how you going to tell him how to be a role model? I think they need to focus their energy on – the younger generation. If you focus your energy on them, the people you can't control, they grow up being new role models and the rest of the kids look at them. But you, but you see, you see, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, but you see, the thing is, the thing is, with you as a rapper, and I'm going to be real with you, this, this rap thing, and, and I hate when people use it as a crutch and say stuff like, you know what, we we can't raise your kids and you can't, you know what, we are raising these kids. God damn it, if I want to wear my hat like Chameleon that means Chameleon has an influence on me. So like I'm saying, you know, until we as the hip hop community kind of accept that, accept, accept our role role as role models, Absolutely. we won't change. Do you agree or disagree? But I, I kind of disagree because I feel like some of these people don't know how to be a role model. We try to tell somebody that don't know how to be a role model how to be a role model. Like I said, if I've been smoking and drinking my whole life, right. you need to be a role model. But That's like me bringing Pimp C in here. Pimp C. We know or, the difference between And that. telling him, you need to be a role model for my kid. Like, I'm Pimp C, So, man. So should we <laughs> block the younger kids from listening to that type of hip-hop? Man, I think people need to spend less time pointing the finger at somebody. All the time they spend pointing the finger and do something then. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all know we're not going to change the world. You know what I'm saying? Some people lead by example. That's right. what I feel is the best thing. You know what I'm saying? My parents used to try to dictate everything on me, what religion it'd be, right. what not to like hip-hop and everything. It didn't work. I was rebellious. Hip-hop is a child. And these parents was in the rounds to raise it. Now they're trying to come into hip-hop's life telling them what to do, and everybody's rebellion. We're going to rebel. And they're going to keep on doing it, and we ain't going to get nowhere. But, well, well, let me play devil's advocate. If somebody like a Jesse Jackson, excuse me, uh, Jackie Robinson, who had no role model before him, stepped out, who's to say that some of these cats can't step out and be, and be you know, the, 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 the revolutionary role model? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be completely real with you. When I was coming in high school, you know, no, the, no, 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 it wasn't that long ago. They have buildings. I got to use the N word. Look at that, wasn't that long ago. <laughs> you know, and I don't want to date myself, but you know, it's like the, the public enemies and stuff like that. They didn't, and I'm not trying to use them as the as the upliftment, but they stepped out and said, you know what, we're gonna change this whole shit. So they, can you do this? It was built for that, and they conscious wanted them to do it. It was a moral decision on them, but these people, they they might not want that. You want it more than they do. You That's know what I'm saying? So you can't tell somebody something like, if I want you to have success and I keep on telling you how to get it and you don't want it, it ain't going to be nothing I can tell you. You know what I'm saying? So do you think that you are a role model for these kids? Like, I mean, I'm conscious you? about a lot of stuff that I say, but I'd be crazy to say just because you're on TV that it's your responsibility and you have to be perfect. People no, are no, human. No, you know no, what I'm saying? No, not perfect. Please, none of us are. Yeah. But as a close. public, very close, <laughs> as a public person, yeah. like once you step out and become that public figure, once you have that power, like we have this power on this mic, I have to be conscious of what I'm saying. You know, I mean, I try to be at least. Man, then it got to be all the way up the board, man. Let's go to the dude that's painting all these pictures on TV and letting us see all this crazy stuff. Subliminally, so it'll, it'll, it'll train you to be, you know, so you've seen a little kid before and they'll just be looking in the mirror and they just holding the gun out or whatever. It's crazy. Who's to say that they didn't watch 10 million right. Terminator movies, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, all that. Like, if, if that's my kid, I ain't gonna let him do that, you know what I'm saying? So, right. Even nowadays, it's cartoons that's messed up. Oh, so the match, you know what I'm saying? So the match is, was the album forced in the sense that you had to be really conscious of not saying certain words? All I'm doing is me. I got, I got a, a, somebody on my shoulder right now that talks to me. You know what I'm saying? And he tells me what he, my, my conscience just be eating at me. It, that might not happen to other people, you know what I'm saying? Is he messing with your creative flow? I'm asking you. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> he is. It, it might be something like, but me, I'm not one of the persons that cur curse like that. I never did. Yeah, so it's easy right. for me to not say a curse, but another person, they're going to have to really think about it. Like, mm -hmm. oops, I almost slipped. It's never going to slip with me because it's not in my language, I'm you know what I'm saying? That's me on this radio. Shit, let's go to the top. <laughs> <laughs> 8, 7, 7, 30, 